We have Rob Gore. Rob Gore. Hi, Robbie and gang. I Hi. Host, oh. Rob Gore and all viewers who have been around for some time. It is so nice to hear from you. Uh, it's been a while and uh, we've missed you and I uh, hope you're doing well. So thank you very much for reaching out to the show. Yes. Okay. I have resized Thanks, some images using the GIMP so that they are the same height. Um, not concerned if the width is different. I checked the images, the image properties, and made sure that they are all set to 400 pickle, pixels. 400 pic pickles. Pickles. 400 <laughs> pickles, pickles for good. the height. And the XY resolution is set to 72 pixels per inch. When saving the images, I have used the save for web option with 90% quality. When adding these images to my website using WordPress, they are showing as different heights. Any mm -hmm. ideas or suggestions? Yeah, okay. Thanks. Let's understand the inner workings of how WordPress is is treating your images. I'm going to head over to pexels.com. We're just going to grab a real quick uh, stock image. Oh, so, like that I don't know, cool some, one. Like Pexels. a car. Why don't I just grab these clouds? Okay. So poofy. Makes you want to fly, doesn't it, Henry? It's just like outside right now, Robbie. It's just I got to like go. It. Yeah. I'll just throw that on my desktop for you here, Rob Gore. Okay, so I'm going to take that photo, and I'm going to, I'm going to make... Uh, you know what? I better grab a second photo here as well. Of because because we, want to, uh, we want to be able to demonstrate the difference. Here's a perfect <laughs> example. Pickles. This one's super wide. Okay. So that one's a perfect one to use. Okay, now we've got two pickles. Okay. <laughs> Grab these photos. Let's gr bring them up into the GNU image manipulation program. Okay. So we see that, and we see... Ooh, that's a big high-res image from Pexels. Nice. Ooh, yeah. You know it's a high-res <laughs> image when your system fades for a moment and it comes back. <laughs> like, this window is not responding. Oh, yes, it is. It's like all the lights massive. flicker. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> you get all exactly. the power to download it. Love it. Okay. So here's image number one. Let's choose our height. We're going to say our height is going to be um, 600. Because if, if I'm hearing this question correctly, Rob mm -hmm. Gore is setting the height to a static height so that it's the same for all his images. Right. But he's not mm -hmm. caring about the width. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're going to use 600 as our height. So this one happens to end up as 393 with the width. Or the... Oh, sorry. No, I... Oh! Or me. Just as I clicked it, I realized, no, that was actually backwards. It's width and height now. Ugh. GIMP has reversed things. And now I have to wait for this massive image to scale. Dude. And <laughs> time yeah. Yet again. Oh. <laughs> Holy big image here, guys. We're looking at it at 18.2%. It's still there. It's, just, it's nighttime. Yeah, it's just gone <laughs> dark. So this is the, the Halloween episode version. <laughs> Oh, come now. Oh. Things that go Why did I choose right? such a big image for you, Rob Gordon? Eight million Maybe pixels. I'm just going to use the... <laughs> what did the height end up being? Let's use that. Uh, Holy pick, goodness. Uh, 400 pixels for the height. And because we're live, I would never do this. I'm going to force quit. Because <laughs> I don't want you to have to wait for me to look at a progress indicator. <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. Go, go, go. What go. is this? Microsoft Windows? Uh, totally. No, it's just kidding. Here we go. Okay. It's a nice picture. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's a lovely picture. Mm -hmm. The traveling they both are. Let's go, guys. All right. Let's grab height, not width, because you're doing it by height. Sorry, I thought that that one was height for some reason. I don't know. Okay. So I'm going to do 600 height, and it notice that it's locked proportionally, so it's going to rescale correctly, and we're going to scale it down. So there is our image with 600 height. And it ends up with 916 um, width. Okay, so I'm going to export as. Now, you said you used save for web. You must be in an older version. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to export as, and I'm going to call this um, for web. Okay. And then we'll do the same as you did, 90%. I usually go for 98 because I am a beast for quality. <laughs> uh, okay, so 600, quality, uh, 600 height is what we're going for. Mm -hmm. Image, scale image, 600 height. So now I think if I follow your question that I am essentially 
now at the point that you're at where you've created these images, you're not caring about the width, but the height is the same for all of your images. So when I look at that, it's the same height as the other one. So I'm going to export that as for web. And again, we're going to give it 90% quality, which is 10% compression. My guess. Mm-hmm. All right, so we now have two new images. I'm going to throw those ones away so we don't get confused. For web, I'm going to maximize that. That's the size. That's the size. Notice, exactly the same height. They are both 600 pixels high. Beautiful. WordPress is responsive. It's the word of the day. So <laughs> the whole idea behind responsive design is that when I look at a website, a WordPress site on my computer, mm -hmm. it's going to look great. The images mm -hmm. are going to fill in the space. It's going to look really nice. If I look at it on my phone, same thing. Mm -hmm. It's just restructured oh, okay. and moved around. That's called responsive design. So when you upload a, an image to WordPress, it is, um, it's going to do scaling, proportional scaling based on uh, it's responsive layout. So that has to do with your template, your theme, and your settings uh, in, uh, for multimedia uh, in WordPress itself. Under, mm -hmm. I think it's general. Um, mm -hmm. So with that said, when I upload this image, it's going to get resized by WordPress to a responsive um, size. So let's bring them both up again. And usually... How it's going to work is it's going to have maximums. So let's say our maximum is, so mm -hmm. WordPress thinks the maximum is 300 by 300 for this particular allocation of the image. So if the maximum is 300, it's going to look at this image and it's going to go, okay, that means 300 width, which is going to result in a 197 height. Because if I make it a 300 height, the width is now over my maximum, which is 300. So we have to do it that way. So this is what happens in the background of WordPress. So now we've got an image that is 300 by 197. Take this other image, use the same math, and say, okay, the maximum is 300. So if I put 300 as the height, this is WordPress talking now, that's going to make it 707 width, which is over my maximum, which is 300. So my width has to become 300. So now the height, because this is proportional, is now 127 pixels on that image. So now I end up with an image that is 300 by 127. It falls within the maximums that WordPress has established for your layout. Mm -hmm. But now we have one image that's 300 by 127 and one image that's 300 by 197. Right. Oh, okay. That's what's happening there. So if we want to have our images be exactly the same every mm -hmm. time, we need to have them be the same. The, the term that we're going to throw out there is called aspect ratio. So you've heard of your TV is 16 over 9. Mm -hmm. um, so that can be 1920 by 1080 pixels, but it can also be 1280 by 720 pixels. Mm -hmm. It's the same aspect ratio, even though they're different sizes on your screen. First example was 1080p, second example 720p. So in order to achieve that, so if we know, I'm going to just undo... Um, both of these so that we're back to having a 600 height. So I'm going to look at this one and let's, let's pretend that this is the, this is the perfect um, shape for our images. So we're going to call that our shape, but it's the aspect ratio. This is the, the aspect ratio that we want. So the way that I can fix the other image so that it's the same aspect ratio is I can look at this one and I can go, okay, this is 916 by 600. So now go back to the other image, which has already been scaled down to 600. But now I need to right click. And this time I'm going to go image canvas size. And I'm going to change this so that it is not linked. Make sure that these two are not linked proportionally. And I'm going to change this. What, did I say 916? Was that correct? I Oh. Nobody made notes. No. Uh, 916. <laughs> that's right. Okay. Image, canvas size, 916. Now, you see what happened? Is it positioned that in such a way that it's cutting off the right hand side of the image? Uh, so I can, dr or the left hand side. No, the right hand side. Yeah, that's right. So I can drag this. You see that crop mm -hmm. box? That's the size that we're going for 916 by. 600. So I can reposition this anywhere, any way I like, and then hit resize. And what it's going to do is it's going to crop that image to the exact proportions. So now if I export that image and then close out of those, 
now I can look at that image and look at the next image and they are exactly the same. Mm. Okay? That is good. That said, what happens if you end, if you start off with one that is uh, see I'm cropping and I'm scaling down to 600. Remember that um WordPress is going to scale anyway, so you don't necessarily yeah. have to scale it down to 600 first. Mm -hmm. Let WordPress do the dirty work for you. Mm -hmm. So if we have a high-resolution image, let's grab one. Because now that we've learned what we, what we, what we don't need to do is um, scale the image. We don't need to resize it so that it's 600 height. Instead, once we know our, our desired aspect ratio... And I've just lost access to my mouse again. Sometimes this happens on Ubuntu Mate mm -hmm. and I, or Mate, and I think that it might have to do with the video drivers. Mm -hmm. uh, I can get in there that way. That works. Uh, now that I n know that really what I'm looking for is the aspect ratio, I don't have to actually rescale this down to 600 height. I'm going to show you how to do this. So here's my massive high-res image. There it is. So now if I go image canvas size. Notice I'm not going to scale this to 600 first. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the either width or height. It's going to vary depending on the, the original, original aspect ratio of the image. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll show you the, the process here and then you can figure out which one is which for your photo. I'm going to copy the height. Now I'm going to go 916 by 600. That's the aspect ratio that I'm desiring. Now I can turn on the link that makes it so that it's proportional and then paste back in the original height. Now I have a proportional aspect ratio crop for this image that is 1847 high. Hit resize and there's my image. It's 2820 by 1847 and yet it's exactly the same aspect ratio as mm -hmm. my 916 by 600 image because of the way that I processed that. So, Rob Gore, I hope that that helps shed some light on why it's happening, how it's happening, and how to avoid it. Um, use the highest resolution images that you can because WordPress is going to automatically scale those down for you. It's not like old school uh, web design where you had to scale it, it down in. because it's too big. Yeah, uh, save, your, save your image once it's ready. Uh, do some touch-ups if you need to. Uh, but high res is great, and then WordPress is going to shrink it down. The only reason you'd want to do it any other way is maybe if you have a very finite amount of space on your server, um, then you might want to reduce the amount of space that's being consumed by your images by rescaling. But hmm. hopefully that helps.